Hi guys, it's Risa. How you doing? I hope you're doing great. Thank you for all your lovely comments. And for my peeps on my Facebook group, Weight Watchers Tips and Recipes by Risa, I love that you're posting my recipes. That's fantastic and showing people how you make them and sometimes you change them up and that's great. My recipe is just a base, okay? So if you don't have all the products, don't stress. You can improvise, okay? And find things that are similar or things that you like. That's what I do. I take recipes and I resuffy them. And that's what you can do as well, all right? So today I'm going to teach you how to make a crab pasta salad. Yum! And uh, first I'm going to show you... Um, the ingredients that I'm using and then we're going to put it together all right one of my favorite pastas that I've told people about is half the calories all the taste okay why because it tastes like real pasta it's not like this fake stuff other stuff that people like to use there are other products don't get me wrong I love other things as well this has been one of my all-time favorites and I get it at the low-carb grocery store um, and you can check it out on Amazon maybe I'm not sure so don't quote me but um, this is what I like um, and what I really love about it is high fiber um, good size good amount of protein and for two ounces it's three smart points we're going to use four ounces of pasta and it comes out to about two cups um, I've measured out just over two cups quite a bit of pasta um, I've also used um, Catelli, um, this one is a yolk free pasta because once you cook it up, um, I think it's like four smart parts or three smart points for a good cup, um, but measure it out. Again, use whatever pasta that you have or that you enjoy, okay? And um, it doesn't matter again use what you can or what you like all right some people really like the shirataki noodles um, there's all kinds out there I just buy this uh, king crab meat um, and we're using about one package 227 grams and I've just cut it up into little pieces just like that that's it really easy and I have some green onions and it's about, let's see, a half a cup, but you can use how much you like or how little you like. If you like red onions, if you like Vidalia onions, regular onions or no onions, it's up to you. Now I've just taken a whole bunch of, of uh, vegetables because the more vegetables you use, the bulkier it is and then you have it for meal prep and I'm going to probably have about four meals out of this or you know if you're just serving it for guests you'll have a nice um, amount okay or if you're taking it to a party or a whatever occasion and um, I've just used um, peppers red orange yellow some cucumber I had some leftover zucchini some little things of broccoli and some shredded carrot okay easy and I always take some lemon almost dropped that <laughs> caught it though some lemon slices that I'm going to be bringing now I'm just going to tell you that I'm going to season it but I'm not putting dressing on because I'm taking it to work for the next four days you can put the dressing in whatever dressing you want I'm going to show you the ones that I love and um or you can make your own dressing and I've had other dressings in different recipes an oil vinaigrette you can use with or a Dijon you can do anything you like this is just making it easy and fast for meal prep for you guys all right and for me um, so I like to add a little bit of Frank's hot sauce um, for a little bit of zip a little bit of pepper some garlic powder a little bit of onion powder um, some salt and um, a little bit of Italian seasoning and pepper all right now for dressings I have poppy seed is delicious on it a light one 
and uh, a tablespoon is one smart point. Um, you can use, well, just check it. I think it's one smart point. Let me check because I don't want anybody telling me not that it's not. Now, this Renee's Fat Fee Free Dressing is five calories, and you can use a whole bunch of it, which I love, right? So you use a couple tablespoons. It's going to be zero smart points. I know. This is fantastic. I love things that are zero. So let's just check. I have my calculator here. I just want to make sure. I think I, I said one smart point, but... I'm not sure because I don't use it regularly. I like to make my own dressings and I like um, zero fat dressings. This is 0 0.2 fat. And let's see how much sugar it is, two grams. And protein is 0 0.1. It is one smart point, I was right. Okay, and my OPA, you can use different ones. I love the feta, I love the um, blue cheese one. And uh, another one is, one of my other favorite things is hell of a good dip. Now this goes really and pairs very well with crab meat, okay? And two tablespoons is, let's calculate it. Where's my calculator now? Here it is, okay. So, 50 calories for two tablespoons, and you'll want about two tablespoons. Saturated is three, protein, sugars one, and protein one. It's two smart points. So again, you don't have to use this if you don't want to. Setting that aside, let's get started. Add your pasta, whatever pasta you want. Add your veggies. Oh, and I also put in some fresh parsley. Of course, I forgot. Um, whatever amount you like. I've got about a quarter of a, a heaping quarter of a cup. I love fresh parsley. More veggies. And you can just mix it up with your hand or a spoon. My onions. And my crab meat. All right. And you can see this makes a lot now. So all you're counting in here is the pasta. Look at how much that makes. That is a lot of food. A lot. What I like to do too is um, I like to put in a little bit of lemon. So I'm going to squeeze in a little bit of lemon. Keeps it nice and fresh. I'm going to just put, sprinkle in a little bit of pepper a little bit of garlic powder about a teaspoon or so you want a little bit more just shake it up a little bit pinch of salt bring out the flavor and i'm just looking for my measuring spoons i'll put in about a teaspoon or so of some onion powder all right and a little bit of Italian seasoning. If you don't like these seasonings, you can add what you like. Again, it's up to you. And I'm just gonna mix it up. So if you're having guests over, you can add the dressing right away, or you can, um, I leave a lot of dressings at work, and then I add it on afterwards. Sometimes it soaks up, so that's why I like to add it on later. Uh, but again, it's a personal choice. If you like it on and you wanna do it now, you can do that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of some Frank's hot sauce, a few sprinkles, cause I like a little bit of zest in it. A little bit of spiciness, not zest. Zest is for lemons. <laughs> All right, okay. That is the recipe. Easy, simple. So one thing I love to do is when I'm at work, I bought these cute little jars. And uh, so you're gonna portion it out. So depending on how much you eat, this whole thing is only six smart points. I know, this is amazing. And then um, if you're only having a cup, it's probably gonna be about one smart point. 
So you're just going to add it. You could add it to this, maybe a little bit more. So depending on how you divide it up, you can just put it in a container like this and bring it and then add your dressing or put your dressing in it and or on the bottom, you can do that. Or if you just have containers like this, you can just add it like this. I would probably eat about two cups of it. And, uh, and then I usually take some lemon because when you add some lemon to it afterwards, it spreads out the dressing. I know, so you can use less dressing and have all the flavor. So I usually take it like this to work and bring my dressing. Um, usually I keep it at work, but if I don't, if you don't have a fridge, um, you can just add some to a little container and bring it with, put it inside. You can add it inside here if you want, if it fits, put it like that and close it. So just whatever you want. Um, again, whatever pasta you use, obviously you boil up your pasta, people, drain it, um, put it over some cold water. I guess I forgot to mention that. Um, easy peasy, cut up your veggies, and that's the recipe. So I hope you love it. Again, use whatever dressing you want. Um, and uh, keep subscribing and sharing and visit me on my Facebook group. Weight Watchers Tips and Recipes by Risa. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, I have um, my Bits and Bites recipe that I did today as well. And I've been busy in the kitchen making also bagels. So um, lots of different recipes that you can try and let me know how you like them. Love all the comments, keep them coming, and I'll be back soon. Love you guys. Bye for now.